Hello and welcome back to my channel. So just when I think that I've seen it all, I've heard it all, I find more. And these home and life hacks that I'm sharing with you today are some of my favorite ever. These genuinely blew my mind and they're also extremely useful for day-to-day -day life, just making things a little bit easier, a little bit better. We have a lot to get to, so we're gonna start. So this one actually blew my mind. It turns out I've been opening mail wrong my entire life. So what most of us do is we just take our letter and we try to open it at the seal, right? But what this results in is a hot mess. It gets all ripped. Sometimes I even rip what's inside. No, there is an easier way to do it. You just have to put your thumb under the opening on the side and then rip it around the top of the letter and it creates a perfect rip and you can just slide your letter right out. It is so much easier to do it this way and no other tools like a letter opener are required. Seriously, try this the next time you open your mail. I will never do it another way. Next thing I've been doing wrong my entire life was seasoning my food. Most of us, we take our spice bottle and we shake, 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 right? The better, more efficient way to do this, instead of shaking your seasoning, what you wanna do is twist the cap and the seasoning comes out perfectly smooth, the right amount, and it is just such a better way to do it. If you were like me and you struggle swallowing large pills, it turns out it is incredibly easy to break them right in half. All you have to do is just take your thumb on either side of the pill and push down and it pops right in half and it makes it so much easier to swallow this way. This is so random, but one of my little annoyances of life is when I'm going to fill up my laundry detergent cup and it's like taking forever. I'm sitting here like, Hello, why is it coming out so slow? I was today years old when I learned that what you need to do is unscrew the little cap on the top to let air in and then press the button to dispense your liquid laundry detergent and look how much faster it comes out. I mean, it's three times faster. And while we're here, instead of you know pouring your laundry detergent and being left with a sticky, goopy cap, what you could do is toss the cap in with your laundry and it's gonna get clean along with your clothes. Pull it out and it's sparkling clean again and it's not all sticky and gross for the next time you use it. We make a lot of pasta in the house so when the water is bubbling and it starts to overflow, all you need to do is throw a couple ice cubes in there. Instantly, the bubbles are going to dissipate. Another trick you can do is put a wooden spoon on top, but I was finding that the pot was burning the wooden spoon so I actually prefer the ice cube method. I'm a big fresh herb girl parsley and cilantro those are my two favorites and the easiest way to pick them from the stock is just by using a cheese grater take the stem of your parsley and just pull it through your cheese grater which most of us already have so you don't have to get a new tool for this just pull it on through and you instantly have the leaves separated from the stem of your herbs. Number one most game-changing cleaning hack that I've come across in this past year is switching from regular cleaning products to the Blue Land cleaning products. And they are very kindly sponsoring today's video, which is just a perfect fit because this is what I actually use and swear by in my home. So if you're not familiar with Blue Land, it's refillable cleaning products that saves you not only on money, it saves you time and effort in refilling your cleaning products and it is so much better for the earth, it's sustainable, and these are better for you products with better ingredients to have around your home. So it's a win across all fronts. My two favorites are the all-purpose cleaning spray and the foaming hand soap. Oh my goodness, like best hand soap I have ever used. The foam is really thick and luxurious and it just feels amazing. It works really well. So when you run out of your hand soap, which we do pretty much weekly here, instead of having to run off to the store, all you have to do is get your little refill tablet, drop it in here, let it dissolve. It takes about 10 minutes. Once it's fully dissolved, you put your pump on top and you're refilled. It could not be faster or easier. 90% plus of what you're buying with traditional cleaning products is just water. So use your own water and then get the concentrated cleaning solution, put it in here, and you've made your own cleaning products for a whole lot less. I love that it takes up such minimal storage space. Like I have a full year's worth of my cleaning supplies in this little jar right here. And I just saw that they have the holiday kits. So this would make a really 
thoughtful gift for someone. And if you want to try the Blue Land products, you can save an additional 20%. Use my link, try the foaming hand soap bundle, and you will understand what I'm talking about, why I love this soap so much. And it's something that you're using multiple times a day. You're going through it so fast. So get a better product. Next hack, I found this on TikTok and it is so good. It is a DIY wrinkle release spray. So you don't have to deal with ironing or steaming your clothes. Like it works so well. So you can make it yourself at home and all you need, one tablespoon distilled white vinegar, one tablespoon hair conditioner of your choice, and one and three quarter cup of hot water. Put that in a spray bottle, shake it up until it's all combined, spray this on your wrinkled clothing items. I'm gonna show you here how well it works. And the other thing you could use this for is your linen. And now I don't have to worry about steaming my clothes. It just makes my life that much easier. So that is a must try. Other little random annoyance I found a solution for. My dish towel would always fall off the towel rack and my hand towel would always fall off the rack. So they have these little stick on towel holders and you press it in there. It's adhesive so you could stick it anywhere and then you stick the towel in there so you can dry your hands, dry your dishes and not have to worry about your towel always slipping and falling. You can even use these with your Swedish dishcloths, which I know a lot of you have and love as much as I do. If you're hosting this holiday season and you want to wow your guests, you can make a deli meat flour to go on your charcuterie board, your little appetizer tray. And all you need to do is get your pre-cut deli meats and put them on the rim of a wine glass like this, just kind of layer them up and then put the wine glass down. And look at that, I have a meat flour. This is a little snack hack. The best like healthy snack, get grapes and cut them in half. I actually use my little grape cutter. Then what you wanna do, pop those grapes in the freezer. You get any jello mix that you like and you mix it up, coat the frozen grapes with the jello mix. And I don't know what it is about this combo. It almost tastes like a frozen sour patch kid. It is really good. And in my mind, you know, I would rather eat that than ice cream, okay? Or real sour patch kids. So try it. So you know how everyone is wearing and loving the belt bags, including myself. They're just so convenient, you could be hands-free. There is a trick where you could turn any bag that you have into a belt bag. All you have to do is wrap it around your waist, get a hair tie that's the same color as the bag, wrap it up where it fits around the waist, and then just tuck that into the bag. You can't see it and it holds nice and secure. I've been doing this every day when we go on our walk. The easiest way to get your flour out of the flour bag without making a big old mess in your kitchen is dipping your whisk into the flour and pulling it out. Two websites I came across that I don't know how I didn't know these existed. Now we're all gonna know and it's gonna save us a whole lot of money. So the first is called Spoken.io. It finds the sources, the direct manufacturers of stores like Pottery Barn, West Elm, Crate and Barrel. So really nice, but a little overpriced home furnishings. And you can get it from their website, like the exact same items without the crazy markup. So for example, this is a lamp that I had been eyeing for our living room from Pottery Barn. It's over $300. So imagine my surprise and delight when I go onto this website and I see the exact same lamp. The only difference is that when Pottery Barn sells it, there's a crazy markup. So check this website first for your home furnishings and then a similar concept website, except with higher end, like nicer quality clothing items is a website called italic.com. What they do is they find the same manufacturers as high end clothing brands and you could get it from them without the markup. Let me know which one of these tips was your favorite in the comments down below. And don't forget to use my link to try the Blue Land products. I think in the future, all cleaning products are gonna be like this because it just makes sense on every level and their products are just phenomenal. So try them out down below in the description box to save 20%. With all of that said, thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.